Hi there. Welcome back to a special episode of the Worst Keto Cooking Show on the Internet. I'm Joey, I'm your host, and here today we're going to be talking about packing fudge. <laughs> fudge cookies, everybody, who doesn't love them? some avocado fudge cookies, dozens of different recipes online about how to make some keto avocado fudge cookies. 99% of them are great. I make mine with peanut butter. Really enjoy the way they taste. And whenever I made them, I don't know what step I missed. They came out really good. Don't get me wrong. They came out really good. But there was something just a hair off whenever I got through cooking them. And as you're gonna see in just a minute, um, I had a bright idea at the end of this that turned out awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys what happened whenever I went to the kitchen and came up with this. I think you'll like it. I think this came out to be a really good idea. So give this a shot, let me know what you think, and let's go to the kitchen. All right, guys, let's do our ingredient roll call real quick. We have our oven preheating at 360 degrees. Over here, we've got two medium avocados, one egg. We're going to be using half a cup of peanut butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of baking soda, or excuse me, baking powder, half a cup of cocoa, and half, half a cup of sweetener. We're going to be throwing all that in our food processor. This recipe really is just stupid, stupid easy, guys. All right, guys, I think this part's going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to take a couple of silicone spatulas, shape out your cookies, put them on a Silpat baking sheet, and we're going to put these in the oven at 360 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes, and they're going to come out really, really nicely. Just you really don't need me to explain how to make cookies. It has been about 13 minutes. Pull these guys out, see how they're looking. Oh, 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 yes. Ooh, they're jiggly. See that guy? He's real jiggly. All right, so we're going to pop these guys out, let them cool, and uh, then we're going to do our taste test. So this wasn't part of the original video, but I had an idea. I posted a video a couple weeks ago on how to break up with Little Debbie, and I'm wondering... We are about to find out. I'm going to spray this down with a little bit of cooking spray. And then I think I'm going to take two of the smaller cookies right here and uh, see if I can make a little fudge cake out of it. So I'll grab, let's do this one, it's a decent size. Grab this one first. Squeeze that down. Hmm. Well, we're going to give this a shot and see. 
So I've got I've got a tablespoon of butter and two ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to throw this in the microwave, let it get soft. Then I'm going to add some swerve to it to get it mixed up. Am I recording? Yes. Hey guys, uh, future Joey here. So may have forgot to turn the camera back on after I put the uh, the frosting on the uh, the fudge cookie chaffles. Sorry. But, if it helps out, they came out delicious. Yeah, eh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, so what I did is I took the, uh, the frosting that I'd made and I would put that in between two of the chaffles. Came out delicious. Hope you guys will just take my word for it and give it a shot. And back to previous Joey making the video. And this is the last one that's left. It's not even the uh, the one with the cream cheese and the frosting because those are those are gone. They've all been eaten. Um, they're really really good, uh, especially like this is something I, I don't know if anybody else has done this with the chaffles yet or the waffle maker or the chaffle maker, whatever we're calling the dash mini. Um, threw it in there, it came out perfect really good like red light consistency with it so guys i think you're going to like this one throw some peanut butter throw some frosting throw some other stuff on there uh but avocado fudge cookies in the waffle maker comes out really really nicely um i, I really like these um leave me a comment like the videos share subscribe uh, let other people know about the worst keto cooking show on the internet. Um, give these a shot. Follow me on Instagram at Dirty Keto Mercer. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and let me know how you like these. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.